Um, cool. Did, did you, uh, and this is like, um, the whole idea of this is talking more about kind of your life and stuff. And I just play Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet. Yeah. Uh, when did you uh, start playing Smash? Did you play the original? Yeah, I played 64. So I even did like stat tests back then. I mean like 30 of them, and then I made like 60 for melee. I just did play it alone like all the time. Yeah. Sometimes I play with friends, but almost always I just play alone, just try to figure everything out. I just entertain myself because yeah. I didn't really have much friends, so I just I just pretended that it was real. And I don't know. I just I just got by my whole life just being. Fr it may sound corny, but I was like friends with like the video games. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. But I don't know. I, I, I um I was entertained like my whole life, so I was happy. So I can't really say anything. Nice. nice. I remember when I was in elementary school, I had no friends. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Video games only. Yeah, it's too fun. Is that what you kind of did in school? Fantasy world's better anyway. Yeah. yeah, I never, I never, I mean, all my friends in school, like, I don't talk to any of them now, like, none of them, so. Yeah. They're all Smashers, they're literally 100% of them, they're all Smashers, so. Yeah. Smash community is no reason to have friends and enemies. <laughs> so it's everything, my whole world pretty much. Yeah. Did you, do you like kind of having enemies? I know some people. Nope, <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. Yeah. I want to be like America's hero, but, like, during like, whenever I fight like Japan or something, no one wants me to win. It's like, it's just depress. It's just depressing. It makes it, when I get that depressed, it's like I don't even want to play anymore. Yeah. No, that's just how I feel. Yeah. Back in the day when you first started playing, like, um, when it was like, uh, I guess you got in pretty early, didn't you? Like in terms of melee, like turn. February fourteenth, two thousand five, first turn. Then you went to like one every three weeks or so. Yeah. Oh five, then oh six, no, oh five. I remember playing Ken and Umbreon now. They both four stock me. Then the next year, I beat Ken a three to five set of Fox, and then th the next year, I had three stocks in, in three different occasions of Mark Davis, <laughs> three separate occasions. Nice. nice. That's when you went black, Mark against his. Oh. oh. What is that? Were you always black, Mark? This looks the coolest. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I need a color that looks cool. Black looks cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's all. Totally. It's, it's, it's that simple. Yeah. Yeah. As many as like, might as well do the same thing. Dark Knight, Batman. Hell yeah. Are you gonna see the new Batman? Yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can see it when it's out on Friday. Probably not, but I'll see it eventually. Nice. nice. Um, uh, with regards to the Ken, um, did you kind of look up to him at all when you first? At first, before I knew the real him, then I found out he's just a big liar. Yeah. Um, MLG Orlando, uh, I was telling people, I told him how to like get around like the light shield trick, like by neutraling, so the second hits hit hits him off. And he even did it to chill him. Like it's on it's on YouTube, it's on Fountain Dreams and he did it to to Chillin and he I remember on AIM later he's like, Thanks for telling me that it worked pretty good and then online later, like he denied all that. And then Oh, I told uh, before the second MLG in 06, um I told him to spam counter against PC because PC kept spamming attacks, so it was like he's gonna laser in an attack right away, so if he's always gonna do that, just counter. This is before I knew about like the dash dance. Bef now I know I can just take a laser or parachute it and then dash dance you know, direction. But back then I didn't know that, so it was just like just counter. And he did that, and he even three stocked in one game by using my strategy. And he, and he, he, I think he even thanked me for that later. And then like one year afterwards, when it was brought up again later in discussion, he posted and said, "No, I figured it all on myself. I wish I had the aim logs just so I can like expose him for the liar he is." It's like, it makes me kind of mad. Mm -hmm. On that note, uh, he got fifth on Survivor. Sugar Susan Bob Maddie beat him. SSBM. <laughs> Bet you guys didn't notice that. No way. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. <laughs> That's awesome. I had no idea. It was pretty awesome. Dude, that's really cool. Did you watch his Survivor thing at all? Or just yeah. 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 Do you watch it a lot on TV? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't... I, 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 I guess I used to look up to Ken as, like, inspiration, but after I found out he's a huge liar, I can't really respect him that much anymore. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like people that lie. Like, over... I, I can see once, but over and over and over. No. Yeah, yeah. Now, you said, I, I think we talked before, and you said that you, you just, like, it wasn't in you to lie. Uh, yeah, I just, I mean, I, I do lie, but I mean, I'd say I do it a lot less than the average person, at least, I'll say that much. Yeah, totally. Um, did you though, at least look up to his, like, skill or anything, or? Yeah, I mean, it was just a lie, I just wanted, my idea was just, uh, I just want to be as perfect as possible. Like, like, okay, my mindset is like, if I get a hit, I want to take it as far as possible. So it's like, okay, in the old days, um, like, Marf used to get a grab at the edge and stuff, and it's like, they do like, forward throw or something back to the center stage or up there or something like, well why? Unless you're like 90% sure they're gonna tech roll in or something, and that's usually bad. You can just down throw and then you get like 50-50s or, not really 50-50s now because there's so many options, but 
before people knew their options, it was like 50-50s and stuff, and I could just get all these gimmicks that no one's ever seen before. And, well, it's not even gimmicks, it's, it pretty much is 50-50s or one out of threes and stuff, since there's only so many things you can do. And I can like do this or that, and then if I guess right, they're dead, so I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's yeah. my mindset. Uh, just get the most for your hits. That's that, the way I play, I just try to, I'm not really good at poking and stuff, but I'm, I'm, I would say when I'm playing good, I'm the best or one of the best at follow-ups. That's, that's how I try to play. Like zero to death, that's my mindset. Zero yeah. to, if I get a hit once, I want to try to follow it to death if possible. Yeah, and yeah, that's one of the most beautiful things I think when you play the game is that you, you see it as soon as you get Yeah, it's cool looking. I, I guess everyone likes to watch my marks. It's just, it's just, I guess people just like watching zero to death. <laughs> Yeah, especially with Mark, because it's like just so epic. Yeah, I do it for a lot of characters. I just I don't record anything ever. So I don't know. Why did you choose your mains? Like I don't know. Um, I used Fox because I totally I don't remember. Yeah, I, <laughs> I forget. I no, I remember why. I saw a video of a Japanese uh, Fox called um, Tetsuya, I think, or something from like old days, and he just kept short hop nearing, and it was just so fast. And I was like, my hands couldn't do that, even in like 2000, late 2004, 2005. Remember Ryoko Yaksu used to like destroy me if like three stock me a peach and because I like near him and I I would I would sometimes full hop because my hands were too slow and then he just like hit me and I missed that cancel and then I down then I just get down smash for like sixty damage because I was like a noob and then it's like fuck this is gotta get better and just over time I just like Wes used to three stock me and then like in again and then turn after that I just like beat him like three one and three over something like that and I, I don't know I just kept getting better to two thousand five. I started off pretty good as a noob. Like actually, my first tournament I think is actually on YouTube, or my first or second is actually like on YouTube. So th that's like a good. That was, that was my that was my starting point. I think that's actually pretty decent for a starting point. Yeah. So yeah. I knew a lot of ATs and stuff, but never had competition. Nice. Yeah. And that was like everyone said I suck, because all people do is talk shit. They don't know anything. So they they just like talking shit. So it's like they all say I suck, and then I was like, well I'll prove you wrong then. That just made me want to prove them wrong. And then I became the best for like. A year and a half in melee, like I'd say the very borderline 06, 07, like around New Year's, to like middle of 2008 or something. I think I was probably like the best player then. Mm -hmm. And then at some point in 08, I was actually like, top number one in both games. Lately, I've been losing my passion for Brawl though, because like I don't know, singles is just camping. <laughs> it's just it's just getting lame. Um, and as I'm getting older, I feel like my reaction time is getting slower. So it's like I feel like I know what to do, but since I don't practice. And my control is not as good. I mean, that's my fault because I'm not as dedicated. At MLG, I got lucky. I got a perfect control, but I'm not as dedicated anymore. I still love it, but my reaction time is a little slower and my movement's a little imperfect. And all those tiny things makes me lose a lot of matches I could have won otherwise. And it, it's just like all the little things, it adds up. It's like oh, I won the set as opposed to losing it and stuff. I've just, I've just been sucking ass lately. <laughs> well, for what it used to be. Yeah. I think 2007 was probably my best in melee. Uh, 2010. Only like Ally, Lee Martin, like a few others know, but like, I was by far at my prime in then. Nice. Yeah. Um, when, uh, I'm still good now, but I still think I'm like just I'm j just a shadow of my former self. I honestly think. When Smash Four comes out, I'll try to play that. I don't know what's gonna happen. That's like years from now. I don't know how bad my reflexes will be. I don't know if I'll have a job in college and stuff. I I can't make any promises, but I am gonna play it. I can't promise I'll be the best due to my age and responsibilities. But I'll I'll probably always play Smash. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I just love it too much. Nice. What is it about the game? I don't know. I just like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I play lots of games. Yeah. Like I can speed run, make run two really well. Yeah. I love F Zero GX. Like I like double dash a lot. I don't know. Just whatever. I just, whatever I find fun. I just when I have a goal, I just like like okay in time trials. I'll just do it over and over and over. But it'd be so fun because I'll just like race my own ghosts and race this like staff ghost and stuff. It's just. I just like the challenges. If if, if it's a challenge, it's fun. I I, I like it. Nice, nice. I remember just, I, my mindset. Yeah. I saw your um. You made a really amazing, huge maze back in the day. And it took like two hundred hours. I don't know. I don't know why I did it. I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> it's just something I started once. So it's like I'm gonna make a big maze. And now that I think back, I have no idea why I did that. <laughs> did you Did you actually like run it or did you? No, I made it pixel by pixel. And but I copy pasted. Oh, like when I was like. 85, 90% finished. I no, it was like 90% finished. I just copy pasted a lot of stuff, but the literally 90% of it I do line by line, pixel by pixel. Well, uh, I was just bored. I, I was just like, I don't know. 
Yeah. Just yeah. make stuff. I, I made tons of like Pixar art and stuff back then. Nice. Nice. And was there any other ones that stuck out in your mind besides just the maze one, or was there like, just, like some screw attack? Thing? I don't know. This a bunch of little doodles I made. Just I have OCD and like I'm a perfectionist. But not as much anymore. But I, I st actually I kind of am still. I think that's why I get good at things, but it's also kind of annoying because it's like I can never be satisfied. Unless I'm absolutely perfect, I'm not satisfied. Unless I'm JV5 stocking them in melee and JV4 stocking them in brawl, I don't feel like I'm good enough. Yeah. That, that's my mindset. And that's why I got good because of that mindset. Yeah. Yeah. So it works both ways. It's kind of frustrating, but it is the best mindset to be as good as possible. Yeah. It's true. It's very true. Do you think that, that can't be like natural in you? I mean, I know you, you said that like when you were a kid, like you didn't. It was easier. My, you know? my reflexes were faster. And I, and I played more. So, like, playing more and being able to react faster, that helped. Yeah. I think it's mostly playing more. The, the reflexes only matter if they're raw singles and you're camping, but um, it's mostly pl how much you play. Yeah. And yeah. just knowing oh, this is this hitbox. I've, I've been in this situation before. This is good. This is usually bad. Just, just experience, experimenting, all that stuff. That's why, that's why I just play tons of friendlies at tournaments. I don't care. I just I play anyone. Good players, bad players, it doesn't matter, I just play anyone. Nice. I just nice. sit down, play, play, play. Is that all input to you? Like that's all like That's how I, that's how I practice. I mean yeah. I don't, why wouldn't people do that? I don't know why everyone doesn't do that. Yeah. Everyone should do that. <laughs> just go to tourneys, play all day. Yeah. Sit. Nice. Nice. Um when you were getting like in you said uh, It's because I played all day and I had a perfect controller that I was yeah. also used to and practice a lot with I just it's yeah. just the motivation. Like totally. it's just like I, I wanted to be the best uh, right when I got to my, my prime at MLG, um, right after 06, I got to my prime right afterwards. Um, and then, um, of course they drop drop it. And they banned me from Dallas. Bullshit. It's, he still owes me that money. <laughs> what happened with that? What was that I really don't want to get into it, but basically, yeah. I didn't know there was like a rule against it. <laughs> and like, I was just being like emo. Because I have like depression problems. Like. When, it, when, it, when, it, when I'm like not playing good that, uh, in a day or just feeling down for whatever reason, I just like, I just get depressed and then, that's, that's a really big problem I have. I just get depressed and then, I just like don't feel like playing anymore. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, I know it's a genre, it's like, it's also, it's, it's also the truth. Totally. So it, that, that is the reason. And I just like didn't want to play anymore. I was like, I, was, I, was, I told him I'd split, but like, I didn't know it was against the rules. <laughs> and it wasn't against the rules. Chew, Chew and can actually split doing MLG is like Columbus or Orlando or something. And that's why they made a rule against it. So if Ken never did that, Ken Chu never did that, that I wouldn't even be in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah. I think I got like third at one of those MLGs. Cause that was before I could beat them. Cause I wasn't good enough then. Yeah. yeah so you got, kind of got screwed out. Yeah. Oh, and just before MLG uh, 06 finals, I played so much with, with just one controller. Cause I didn't have a backup. I just played so much with one controller. Cause I practiced with it. I played so much the week before that, like, less than a week before it it stopped being good, like, it started becoming horrible. And I let character test it, I was like, is it just me or is it just horrible? And he's just like, yeah, it sucks now. I was like, why? And then the one I was using is this, I just had to use some so-so one. And yeah. That sucked, I got fourth, top three got paid. It's 10K, 5K, and 3K, and fourth got zero, and I got fourth. Dude. And same thing had happened in Evil World. I had to fight Mango at a best of one, and I got no stage ban, so I had to fight him really early, he got, he picked Puff, and it random on Dreamland, and got rested three times, and I, was, and I got ninth, and then it, top eight got paid. <laughs> it was so, st and it was like 5,000 at first, so I got screwed again. <laughs> I just, I do feel like I'm really unlucky, like, yeah. or maybe, okay, maybe it's not that I'm unlucky, but all of my past, almost all of my past have been unlucky, uh, more accurately. Totally, totally. Um, <laughs> that sucks. I don't want to get more into the this because that's yeah. depressing talk. I, I don't want to. I don't wanna think about that shit. Totally. No worries. Um, PC and KDJ were also kind of coming out in, around that time when you were getting big too. Did yeah, PC was always good. Oh, he admits Falco's broken now, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was talking to him recently. I was like, D dude, can't you see how good Falco is? And he's like, yeah, Falco is by far the best character. I remember he he's I like Facebook quote like from a month ago or something. Yeah. Yeah. He's so stupid. But whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, he told me he loves playing Fox just because it's the funnest. Yeah. Um. I actually think Fox is third best. Really? Everyone else puts him as number one or two. I think he's third because I think his lack of range is a very big flaw. When I can beat like I have a winning record on every Fox that I've played, uh, as far as I know, uh, with my Sheik. I, I've two, three, four stock like all of the, as far as I know right now, um, all of the top Foxes pretty much with Sheik. And they used to say Sheik counters Fo uh, Fox counters Sheik. I'm like, 
then why do I, why is my cheek very fucked? Am I? I don't think I'm that much better. I mean, I kind of am, but not really. I mean, I, I, I do worse than Fox does, and ha about the same with Marv. So, I mean. Yeah. Can't be what they're saying. I, I don't like really, really listening to other people. I like making my own opinions based off what I know in my experience. Of course, everyone else, most people just follow bandwagons. It's like, this guy said it, I'm going to say it too, so I fit in. Okay, that's what everyone does. Is that like, it's like what? Pr pretty much. It's yeah. just, everyone just bandwagons. It's like, it's corny. They don't even, they don't think for themselves. They just get influenced by others. Yeah. That's get, that gets annoying. Yeah, totally. Who do you think is the number one? Is it Falco? Do you think it's the most popular? Yeah, Falco, Puff. Fox, top three. Number four is definitely Sheik. I'd say it's Marth, Pe Marth, Marth Peach. Peach is better against Falco. Marth's way better against Fox. Um, I, I think Marth's slightly better, but it's, I think it's pretty close. And then Icy's with Wobbling. It's like Falcon, Dox number nine. Everyone else after them is, I guess Pika can be 10. Everyone else there is like uh, barely viable, in my opinion. Yeah. Who's the most fun to play for you? Everyone. Yeah. I, I literally switch, like, when I'm playing sessions, see, the problem with me and Melee, I, put, I use every character. I think, like, in a 26 character match, either me or Mango would probably be, like, the best overall players. In, one of us, but anyway, we'd be, like, the best overall players of, like, the 26 characters. Because I just played the game so long, and I, just ha I had a lot of fun with it. But then when Brawl was coming out, I was like, I told myself before it came out, I'm just going to focus on one character, because all, at that time, all the top players, they mostly used one character, sometimes two. I had like five. I had like five characters or more. Like I was top Falcon, Peach, like it's that everyone. Like, and um, I never really focused on just one. Like my most used character would probably be like 25, 30 percent of my playtime uh, for my most used. And now in Brawl, it's like before it was like entirely DDD for a while, or a bit of more than entirely DDD, and then. I did, um, Court told me to play Meta Knight, and I just went to Meta Knight, and I just made up all this, I just fig tried to figure out everything really fast. Like, grab release snake, nair, 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 downer, and just made up all these gimmicks really fast. So that could destroy people with. So I just tried to get really ahead of the curve, so that way I could like, make a lot of money and make a name for myself even more, and just have fun, just everything. I just tried to get ahead of the curve. Yeah, yeah. Would you say I, oh, like, wait, one more yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, as I learned from Melee, um, you're only as good as your best character. Well, I mean, tourney threat-wise, you're only as good as your best character. Like, I'm like around fifth in melee, but I think skill-wise, I'm a lot higher. But um, now I think the opposite for brawl. Like uh, ally, I think ally is a lot better than me at brawl. But at, although I do think it's, uh, but uh, um, in tourney results of over the past four years, my record's like the best overall. But I think ally's the best player at brawl overall. I would say. I, I, I'm not even going to make an opinion on Japan because I don't know them enough. I, I'm, I'd be basing it off very little. So based off what I know, I think Ally is the best. Yeah. But I'm bigger as a tourney threat on average for the, over the past four years because I put it all into one top tier character. Yeah. I never fucked around with like, well, I, sorry, I never messed around with like Wario, Falcon, all this stuff. I, I, I did sacrifice some like fun for it, uh, but I actually... Not really, because I have fun playing Melee because he's fast and I like combos. And if you, if you, he feels like the only Melee character. Every other top tier character is just like, I'm gonna throw projectiles or chain grab you or both uh, in camp while doing so. It, that's like all, almost everyone else. It's like, yeah. that, that's not fun to me. Do you have a unique perspective because you were both like, like the best at that's, that's all like and one who can combo. <laughs> yeah. Which game do you think? Um, I like both. You like to both? be honest, um, I'm not a big fan of singles in either game. Really? Um, I like free for alls. I like teams. I like items. I like goofy stages, and I just anything else, <laughs> anything, any combination. I don't care what it is. It's just I like having fun. I would I would play on like sample L maze and brawl if if that was turning legal, and I would just play on Wi Fi if Wi Fi had zero lag. I would just do it all day just for fun. Cause that shit's so fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it, the game would be way better with items. I mean, horrible for like showing who's the better player, but a lot better for fun. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Play it for fun more, or just like both? Yeah, both. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. When you first, I, I heard um, from Unknown Force that you actually saw um, uh, Fox or, or Isaiah's Fox, and that kind of got you onto the whole Fox. Oh thing. yeah, I saw him like that old legendary match where he just nared against Germs Link and Force him and I was like, I want to be able to nair like that. Same as Tetsuya. I was like, that's he's so fast and cool. I want to be like him too. Yeah, yeah. And that's pretty much what it was. And it's like. Well, I want to be cool too, <laughs> so that's why I trained to get good. Before, 
Okay, you know how you, you know Mewtwo's teleport hit can go in any direction? Yes. Back in like 2004 and 2005, my hands were so slow, I couldn't even teleport straight down. Like, I tried to teleport down, and my hands would not be fast enough to teleport down. I would go up. And now, I can short hop double laser like this. I've gotten my hands like 10 times faster for no other reason except training. Wow. Practicing. Wow. So you I'm, I'm like proof that a nobody can become number one. Because yeah. I was a nobody, and then I became number one yeah. for like a year and a half. I s yeah, well, I mean, if that's not proof, then what is? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I think. Nice. And you, you actually compared yourself to uh, the most character in Naruto. Rock me? <laughs> yeah. Because well, I was a nobody, and then I became mad good, except it's... Narrative stupid because they have like bullshit powers like I have psychic eyes that are gonna kill you and that that's stupid I mean th that's not real life <laughs> I mean so I'm like Rock Lee that became the best <laughs> yeah yeah at least for over a year whatever so um to, to if you were favorite anime would it be Naruto don't know uh, D DBZ because of nostalgia yeah I always like me too and f compared him to Frieza and I was just like he's so cool. Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's like the highest rated, it's just like, because it's the nostalgia factor from Toonami. Right. I, mean, I mean, come on, <laughs> it's my power level, see, see my power level, 1006, <laughs> it's my power level. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, like, they're, they're, it's funny you mentioned that, because I saw Vegeta. I love Vegeta, like, love Vegeta, he's so cool. Vegeta. Who is Vegeta in the game? Hmm? In the game, like in, in Spanish Melee, who would be Vegeta? I don't know. I don't. They don't have personalities. So yeah. I can't make that comparison. I just. Yeah. I think he's cool. I don't know. Nice. I, I always wanted to win. Yeah. I mean, he never does because the writers are stupid and suck Goku's dick. So it's, I mean, Goku's awesome and all, but for some reason, I just wanted to win. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Um. Is there ever a moment when like you go Super Saiyan? Oh, I know why. Because he's he's passionate. He's so passionate about what he does. Uh. Yeah. Um. Like, cause I, I talked to KDJ. And okay. It's like, if if I'm depressed, it's like I have two modes. If I'm depressed, I'm a lot worse. If I'm mad, I'm a lot better. <laughs> because uh, then you're like, <laughs> there's, I just want to make up for something. Yeah. I mean, lately, for on ever since like I got banned from Dallas, over the past like almost two year and a half, two years now, I've just been getting depressed a lot lately, like over everything, because that never left my mind. I've never like regretted anything more than that, pretty, as far as I know. So I've been, been a, but before then, then I would say yes. Yeah. Like when I really need to win, like I can do it. But I, I'm not gonna make excuses. But like, yeah, I mean, I I guess I'm just like, I might uh, have myself to blame because that's just how I am. I just get to press easy. For, I don't know why. I, I don't even have a good reason for it. I just do. Yeah, so I don't. Way? I don't have a reason. No. no, I did in like high school. Stopped in like eleventh grade. I have like ADHD and ADD and OCD. Well, OCD is not. I think I do, <laughs> and that's not really something you take pills for. But, uh, I'm, I'm a weird kid. I don't know. Did you ever take pills for that kind of stuff? No, I, f I felt like it does nothing. My mom says it does. Yeah. I, I don't really know. Yeah. Did you ever like? I mean, you guys I didn't feel any better when you took them. I don't know. No. Other people say they do, but I don't know. I've just been doing it for so long. Is I don't know. It's the difference. No. Uh, I guess my mom says it. She does, but I, mean, I don't. So no. I don't know how to answer. It. How would you describe your family life? Did you have a good childhood growing up and stuff? I don't want to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> I just played video games, to be honest. Yeah. I just played tons of video games. Yeah. Um, Pretty much my childhood. <laughs> I um, I beat Super Mario Bros. original on NES. I beat it when I was five. And the, you know how on World 3-3, three, three, you could jump over to Flagfall, but like, you know these platforms that like you step on, one goes like this and this? Yeah. So I found a way to like make one of the platforms rise and lower as the, th as the other platform moves left and right, and I barely stood on the edge of it, and then did like running jumps across to like barely go over the flagpole. I figured that shit out when I was five years old. I'm amazing. <laughs> Who does that when they're five? I'm the shit. <laughs> no, no, excuse me. Uh, I just, I love finding like all these little, but I, I was insane. Like in Mario 64, like I, I spent hours trying to get behind any of the invisible walls. Like I was just like, maybe the developers put something out there. I just always hoped they would put an Easter egg or some hints. I miss when games used to put secrets everywhere. That was so awesome. Like in Super Metroid, but like with secrets everywhere, that was so awesome. Yeah. It's just like, you can tell they really put their heart in the game. It makes you feel like you're really in it instead of just like 
generic copy pasted room, which is like what games are nowadays. Let's make a quick buck. Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. No originality, copy pastes. That's stupid, it pisses me off. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what games are nowadays. Yeah. Do you think you'd want to do stuff in game development or at all? Or? Yeah. If I can do a video or Jesse, then yes. Cool. Are you looking at like jobs in that field? Or? I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> Absolutely none. I mean, I'll, I'll try that. I mean, as far as I'm, I'm doing comp sci in school. I'm only, I won't get my associates for like eight more months. I was in Ohio for like a year and a half, but a friend decided not to tell me that classes didn't transfer. So I wasted three thousand dollars and eight months of my life for nothing because five classes didn't transfer, and then I just moved to Georgia for a while and I just went around the country and just lived everywhere for like a year and it's, it's, it was crazy it's just like it was just crazy I, I don't even know what I was doing were you like did you ever think about doing kind of what Sean did and do like the German Smasher and live off of Smash ever huh did you ever do about uh, for Forward do you remember oh like, Forward yeah yeah um, did you ever like kind of I did that shit that? yeah you did let's go everyone and everyone wants to house me because it's play games yeah. yeah it does seem like everybody loves like or at least they, there was, was there a time when they hated you and when they loved you Dude, the people either don't care or they love me or they hate me. It's like all over the place. Yeah, most of the time, it's like people who don't actually know me, like or just listen to rumors. They always hate me because they listen to anything to hear. Anyone who actually knows me and knows the real me, they almost always like me. Yeah. Uh, that that's honestly the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Is that kind of like hate when you're playing the game and stuff, and people like were chanting against you? Yeah, it just makes you not want to play anymore. It's like. I don't know, maybe it's just me, it's just, it just makes you not want to play anymore, cause, I don't know, I guess one of the reasons I play is just to impress people, or just, or it's multiple reasons, okay, I like the game a lot, I need the money, um, I like to impress people and show off and stuff, lately it's just, I've just been dumb and just been playing a lot for more for money, but I don't even use the money for anything, I just want it to, so I don't have to worry about it, because I want to get some minimum wage jobs somewhere, doing crap and hating my life, because so many people tell me they get minimum wage jobs, and it's like, I just want to avoid that. That's all I care about, to be honest. Uh, if I if I can avoid that, then I'm good. I don't care. That's literally that's literally the only reason I care about money, just so I can avoid that specifically. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And would like you know, working in like a gaming thing uh, would that be kind of better or? What do you mean? Like uh, working for a game company, like. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I would just be guessing, so I can't really answer that. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, compared to minimum wage job, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Yes, uh, no brainer. I didn't. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, for when it comes to like, you know, going out on the road and meeting people, when you were you shy kind of at first, or to be honest, I just wanted to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> I never really cared. Yeah. I just wanted to play the game. Yeah. Did you kind of feel like you opened up a little bit when you like were in the community for a while? And Only if some people. Yeah. Only if some people. Yeah. I know that there, um, I usually don't talk, and people say. A lot of people like to s go around saying I'm rude, and, but it's and they and then they like because he doesn't say anything. It's like I literally will sit down and determine not say anything for like five hours. Kind of like Gluttony. I like Gluttony, by the way. He, he I, I played him this week. He's like he reminds me a lot of myself. He just wants to. He's a really skilled kid. He's really quiet. He seems for, I don't. I guess he's kind of modest or something. I don't know. He's just he's a quiet kid that just wants to play and is really good. He reminds me a lot of what I I am and especially used to be. I'm a lot more social now than I was like two years ago and before, but I mean I'm still kind of the same. But he reminds me a lot of what I used to be like. Like, when was like the first big tournament that you? GS two. I got twenty third. Hugs beat me two one. Yeah. And um, West used to two and three soccer because I didn't back then. All, all they would do is wave this back and down smash me. So I lost the two sandwiches because I kept approaching at them because I was kind of new attorneys, right? Right. So it's like, well, Samus is here. I'm here. So I'm getting there. And then they wave this back and down smash. And I was like, wow, how do I get around this? It's invincible. And then, like, a year later, I was like, duh, just attack past them. But then it's it so, so obvious. But back then, was, like, I had more simple people who were, like, noobs. But, I mean, because it's not really derogatory terms. It's like, everyone's a noob at some point. Because you don't have much experience. So, they don't know what, m m uh, much of what to do. So, they just do simple things. Like, okay, like, a, a noob midnight, right? They know to down smash or to up B, so it's like you can just wait for them to do it and then punish. But it's simple, because that's the only option they know. They don't know many other mix ups. But now it's like, okay, well, I figured out they. So sometimes I'll attack at them, it's like, okay, I got punished by wave this back down smash. He's probably gonna do it again. Most people do the same thing twice, because 
they don't know all the options they like everyone let's, let's say there's 10 options most people know like three I don't know so you, f you figure out the one they like it's like oh you did this last time they'll probably do it again and you punish them for it and it's like aim past them and now you got it near near up air or whatever yeah. stuff like that what was the first tournament that you like kicked ass at? I don't know. The best tournament was FC Diamond, but they lost their visit that shit. <laughs> that, that, was, that, was the best, that was the best I ever played. I remember I beat PC's Falco. Um, uh, I beat him in one minute five seconds, <laughs> like three stack low percent, one minute five seconds, and all six games I just six of them. <laughs> the whole set. I was playing insane. I've never played that good. And they and then they lost all the matches. That's, uh, no one knows how good it was. Only character knows, like Lord Knight and Lucas. Uh, no one else knows. There's no. Armada video. Armada doesn't even doesn't even believe me when I said it was better back then. There, there's no video. But, not not the good stuff. I mean, <laughs> it's bad luck. I think, but I don't know. Only the shitty stuff. Yeah, yeah. Most people don't believe me. I, I used to care a lot. Now, that's like five years later. I, I barely care anymore. Yeah. But, I mean, it's still true. So I'm still gonna say that. After that, like you, after you won FC Diamond, are you gonna go to the new FC by the way? That's legacy. I'm going to Japan for SRT, although I kind of regret it now because I feel like I'm a lot worse than I was at Genesis 2 and a lot worse than I was at MLG. I'm probably going to get like 49th in Japan, to be honest. Uh -huh. Okay, no. I'm probably underrating myself, but I really feel like just any Japan guy could beat me right now. I'm not feeling confident at all. Like, I just got ninth this week. I, I want teams. We want 6-0 in the finals because I, I, I'm amazing at teams for some reason. That's just my style. Um, it's good teams. But I'm not nearly as good at singles as I used to be. I'm really, like, inconsistent at it. MLG, Genesis 2. I had my purple controller. Uh, I'm actually gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I keep yeah. it in a box in a box. Uh, with the <laughs> Mewtwo stick, I use this to win MLG. It's like perfect. But here's the thing. Um, it's starting to get kind of sucky now. Cause yeah. after Genesis, like okay, at Genesis 2, I was using it first day. It's perfect. You you can even see like matches. Like I was like playing. Uh, you can just, yeah, you can just watch the matches from Genesis 2. You can tell. Um, I, I was like perfect day one. Pretty good day too. I played. I've been playing rain the money match. I, I two stock went sixty percent and seventy percent. Many theaters and many versus Falco five dollar money match. Um, then I just won a turn. Everyone, but then like day three on like teams and stuff. Um, I was like pressing up to like up throw like with with, with ally. You know with C four up throw like eighty percent of the time or something. It'll kill him. Sometimes I'll die. So I'm mean, use it as like a last resort plan most of the time. But. So I did that shit, and like I'll press up a lot, and it won't jump. Or sometimes, like try to fast fall, and it won't do that. And it's just getting worse and worse. That's why I never want to use it. And I don't even know if it's gonna be good for like the next turn. I forgot to use this weekend, whatever. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna last. I've never been able to find anything that good. I got lucky as hell for MLG. I I just happened to find this. I was like playing Shugo. I was using that. It was in much better condition then. It's like wow, this is so perfect. Everything I do is perfect. And then I won three MLGs in a row, singles and teams, without losing a single set. I only dropped one game at the second one in Orlando. That was like, I was just, everything I wanted to do, I did perfectly. Yeah, I'm, I was just insane then. I don't think I'll ever be that good again. I just don't have the passion. There's not enough like money or, and I've already been at the top two, so it's like, I don't have the passion to get, it, once you've been there, it's like, without any, without the money or the pride, knowing that you've already been there and you're not fighting for much, it's like, it's so hard to be just as motivated as when you compare to someone who, who hasn't tasted that yet and just wants it. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, yeah. it's like Michael Jordan, what if he became like, the best again? It's like, well, I've already been that for years, so it's like, uh, he's not gonna care much. He know he already knows what he's capable of. He, he's, he, would, he has nothing much to prove. It's, it's just like some extra money. Yeah. But that's not enough. It's not the same, it's not the same drive as it used to be. Yeah. But as long as it's still fun, you'll keep doing it. Yeah, it's just, it's just not the same drive as before. And I feel like motivation is like the biggest thing in life to anything. Yeah. Like motivation is the pure reason I came from nobody to like, like got it like melee like for like a while like the the difference in, in, in like two years of improvement of like everyone's just, it's just like insane especially considering i just play computers to get good in both games i play level one computer um level one computer snake on smash for like 99 stock or infinite time i do just, i just train grab level one or four fox with marth on fd i just like practice i can't practice reflex as much yeah. And since I don't play people, and my natural reaction time so reflexes are the things that kind of hold me back. But I, I've created my own knowledge. I think I'm a really smart kid. I think that holds me back a bit, but I have a lot of strengths, so I can still get by and I can still win uh, pretty big tourneys due to how strong my strengths are, or used to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's how I got good. I do feel like I could have been a lot better in both games, even in my prime, and anyone could be a lot better than you are. Um, but 
but my mindset is like, well, you think there's a limit? I don't think there's limits. And if you think, or maybe there are limits, right? But they're a lot higher than you think they are. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, unless you're frame perfect, 99 out of 100 times, you're not good enough. That, that's my mindset. That's what I tell myself. That's how I got good. Nice. Well, when you look at the frames, like it, was that the kind of nah, question? I was, just, I was curious. <laughs> it's not even that useful, to be honest. I mean, 99% yeah. of it's useless to me. Uh, I was just curious, and I just wanted to. I was like, I wanted. To, I just wanted to be famous, to be honest. <laughs> I just wanted to help. I, oh, and since I really don't like lying, I double, triple checked all my shit. I spent about between the melee, F Zero, Halo, Double Dash, and like Metroid Prime, and the whatever, whatever else it was. Like between those like six stat lists or some, just those six. I spent like two thousand hours on that shit, just double checking and triple checking, just to make sure it was just absolutely accurate as I could possibly get it. Until it, I'm like 100% sure, or 99.99% sure, I, I'm not going to post it. Because I just, I don't want to post something that's wrong. I don't like to lie. I know it's, that's how I am. And it, it would bother me. It would bother my conscience yeah. if I did. I think people, like, when they when they first, like, saw, like, um, how you played initially, and then, like, what... The I just want to be perfect. Like, just try to be as perfect as possible. Yeah. It's like, Do you think well, you can, you can make this, I was just think. It's like, yeah. try to be as perfect as possible. And if there's some area that's not perfect, it's like, how can I make this a little better? Just think. Yeah. Just you eventually come up with something. The only problem is if I take a big break. Some people get better. Think of me as I get a lot worse because I'm all about like being frame perfect. I don't really react. My reaction time is bad also. I, I said this like many times, but because of that, I don't rely on reflexes and stuff. So I rely on perfect movement, like with menu. When it when I had my control in like perfect condition, I'll use like perfect movement, right? So I'll be chasing them in the air, but and I'll react really fast and wherever they go, I'll be chasing them and I'll do like up air and fast forward like the next frame so that I can hit them just barely, but they can't hit me. And if the, somehow the upper misses, I get a double jump there and stuff like that. I did that at MLG. I just trained and trained and trained like up three hours a day for like two weeks on average. Sometimes there's sh shoe go. Usually I was just playing alone though. And I just made sure I was as perfect as possible. Cause I, I just really wanted to show how good it was. And for the money and the pride, yeah. the main two reasons. Did those things keep you up at night at all? Like could you sleep? Oh, yeah, just try my best. Yeah. Yeah. If I had a good, to be honest, I'm very confident if my if my control is perfect. Yeah. That's why I was I was pretty. Um, but I never I never hyped myself up to win. During MLG, like all three times, I was like I would say like I'm gonna lose. Yeah. That way, I'm not putting expectations on myself. I'm just I can be happy if I win, but I won't be disappointed if I lose. And now, because everyone else is like, they expect me to be as good as I was two years ago, but I'm not. Like I probably never will be as good as I was. Like last year when I won this Genesis belt, <laughs> I'll probably never be as good as that again because controller pa and passion yeah. the main two reasons yeah. for me okay for me personally there's some main two reasons to be specific nice. Nice. Well, one of the things that I'm, I'm asking um, I, I ask this of KDJ and PC and um, uh, everybody else is uh, what you guys think of kind of each other's fighting styles and I was kind of wondering what play your strengths like if you have uh, a fast read but no no what, what your specifically what your opinion of like say Isaiah's fighting style would be oh yeah um he has a lot of, you can tell he has a lot of 64 habits. Like sometimes he'll DI really bad, but it's only because of 64 habits, because that's the game he's passionate about, right? So he's, he's all about don't get hit, right? I used to have a shirt that said it. He might still have it. Did he really? I don't, I could, I would not be surprised if it's gone. It, it was, it's really old. Yeah. Just cut this part out, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I had that years ago. Yeah. Wait. Do I? I want to know now. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Anyway, um, where were we? Oh, uh, his him all being all about like don't get hit. Yeah, I mean, that's what you do in '64. Shield sucks, so you can't shield. Yeah. It's the opposite of brawl. Brawl's shields. Hate it. They need to fix that. You need to make it more like melee. They really need to fix the shield shit. It's really stupid. Like, you should just be able to outspace them and shit. Like, in melee, it's perfectly balanced, except when Falco hits your shield. Yeah. And he's big. A lot better than 50 50s. So. Totally. But, like, with Sheik, it's like she has the advantage if she fares your shield, but it's not like. It's not broken. It's just small advantage to the attacker that gets that into that situation. But it's, it's, it's minor. It's balanced. Yeah. yeah. 64, it's almost worthless, unless you're gonna shield and then have them push you off the ledge so you can do an immediate back air. Isaiah totally. does that trick a lot. 
or all it's, it's complete opposite. Um, Isaiah plays like that because of his habits. I play the way I do because of melee habits. It's like, well, they love me, so you know, it's, I want to space attacks. So you just space attacks, up air, air dodge, down air. You know, it's simple logic. Yeah. I don't know why people didn't think of that before me. I, I don't know. It seemed obvious to me. Um, that's pretty much it. Whatever you start with, I guess. Yeah. Kind of. This is my. I'm just guessing. I, I could be wrong. Uh, yeah. This is what I think. Did you get to talk to Isaiah at all? Or they were friends. friends. Know each other? Yeah. Nice. What do you think of him as a guy? He's How, good. How do you cool. describe him? He's cool. Yeah. I know um, there was a story that uh, Kyle Faust told me about um, you know, him, his specific kind of uh, sense of humor. And um, yeah, he's kind of like a really laid back guy. And we had like a long talk. Yep. Um, he's pretty laid back. Yeah. yeah. He's one step fun, pretty much. That's all I care about. Did you get to uh, feel Mr. Happy? Do you remember? Oh, that? I remember that. Uh, I I know what you're talking about. I don't remember what it was. It was some, what was it again? It was like some like some small some thing. small something. Oh yeah yeah. 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 It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> he's weird. <laughs> no, I love him. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. He seems like a really cool guy. Yeah. Uh, what about Asim? What, what's your kind of a? He called himself the master of diversity. That's me. That's, that's me. He was for his time. No, he's he's cool. Yeah. I don't have much to say about him. I, yeah. He's cool. Yeah. What do you? Uh, we, yeah. Was he? I guess. Do you guys ever talk much? Or he's kind of a shy guy. I don't know. He's never on Facebook or anything. He's, yeah. he's invisible or everywhere. I don't know. I used to talk, but I, mean, I think he only talks to Sean, dude. Well, yeah. he like disappeared from Melee and Brawl too. He was around like one tree last year, and he doesn't really talk. I don't know. I I, I can't really say much. Yeah. yeah. I like him. That's all. <laughs> nice, nice. Um. What about um. Oh yeah, we talked about Ken. Did you guys ever like talk at all after that? Like you, you nah. realized he was kind of. I alive. said everything I had to do. Oh. Yeah. I pretty much said everything. There. Yeah. yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh, about PC Chris. He's cool. Falco's yeah. broken. <laughs> no, Falco's seriously a piece of shit. Fuck Falco. Yeah. Did you ever, salty uh, about Falco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's so overpowered. I don't care what anyone else says. Way better than Fox. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what anyone else says. <laughs> yeah. Um, except, you, except against Peach. Fox better. Yeah. Oh, what are you saying? Oh, did you, um, did you ever, who gave you the most trouble out of all of them in terms of fighting style? KGJ is Sheik because I didn't know how to counter Sheik back then. Sheik counters Fox like really, really badly, I think. And that, that's actually the reason I picked up Sheik. I'm not really good at matchups. I can't range. Like I'm not that. I'm not that great at fighting Sheik with Fox and just, eh, at it. But I'm really good at fighting Fox with Sheik because I'm good at abusing range. The way I play, I'm good at range. I think that's. I think that's why I like teams actually because you just sandwich them in the middle <laughs> and just trap them in. This is range. I'm good at abusing that. Um, I. That, that's most likely the reason. That, that's that is honestly why I think Fox is not as good as everyone hypes him to be. He just has a lot of small flaws that they all add up. It's like a lot of it comes down to range and, and actually that's a, that's a really big flaw in itself. Because um, I know like KDJ like the yeah I totally forgot what your original question. Oh was, yeah, so. <laughs> like, uh, K, I think KDJ everyone always like looked at him as a kind of like a fiery guy, you know, like, who just like had who was really aggressive. Like he definitely it's, follow you off the the ledge and try to just destroy you. Yeah, back back then, um, I figured I was actually curious how it works. So like years later, I figured out how it works. Is like between like fifty and seventy five percent of the upbeat charge. That's when like there's the burning happens. Like every every other frame. So like the first fifty percent easy shine spike. The last seventy five percent just before the upbeat easy shine spike. But I mean I don't know if he knew that or not. Like I didn't know that. So that's why I was like I was curious. I was like. I don't know, so I just, uh, I was, actually I looked it up on Super Dude Man's site, to be honest. Um, yeah. Did you ever get to hang out with Dan, like, um, outside of stuff, like, you know, uh, the tournament scene? He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. <laughs> 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 nice, nice. I'm the worst interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good, man, it's all good. Um, Dan. <laughs> oh, Mango. You know, you said that you you, you were like you've never mixed feelings. Him. Mixed feelings about him. I used to hate him. I like him now. Huh. Huh. Why did you hate him initially? He was a dickhead to me all the time. Really? And now he's nice to me, so I like him now. Well, that's it. Huh. Huh. Was he just kind of taunting and stuff like that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not him. I don't know. 
I mean, what did he do to you? Did he just talk about shit? And I was like, well, you're being rude. I don't like you. <laughs> and then now it's like, he's nice to me and, and likes me. And I was like, okay, I like you too. <laughs> <laughs> that's that simple. That's cool. That's cool. Well, that's good. Um, Yeah, what did you think about Puff when he started using... Yeah. She's, she's, she's broken. I don't care what anyone says. She's stupid. Did you ever think about playing her? She's not fun. No. She's, I don't know. I mean, so, sometimes I just get bored right away. It's like, you can't do anything cool. I mean, you can't do cool combos and stuff. Except I did sick combo with G-Man twice in a row. Up throw, up air re-grab. Up throw, pound. Up air rest. I could've just pound rested. You, uh, you grab it on the like middle, uh, left side of FD, right? So they never DI to up throw, but it won't kill right away. And I want to do a cool combo, so it's like, I know you're going to hold it inside the stages the rest of the time. So it makes the combo so easy. It's like a 0 70 something. I just love doing cool shit. That's awesome. I was playing Falco, up smash out of shield, up air, back air, reverse fair to rest, off stage. Like 110 or something. I do, I just love, I love doing shit like that, but there's not many opportunities. And that, that's that's what I find fun. If I can't do that, I just I just get so bored, like, why am I even playing? Totally. There's no point to even play if it's, it's going to be so boring. And that, that's why I don't like raw singles. That's what it's coming down to. Like, if yeah. it's coming down to, you can you want to be lame and win, or do you want to? That, that's why I like teams. Teams is so much better. Like, you can't do that shit really. I mean, Anubis, I, I, the Anubis chat, Lucario, Mennite, we just did that. Um, and we lost to three one to Ally um, Nara, and then we, we came back, and I was just like, I'm just gonna play Super Gacho <laughs> the next time, and we're gonna come back and win six zero. We won six zero because it's broken. <laughs> also, I'm really good in teams, and he was a really good teammate. That, that that helps a lot too, yeah. and we talked a lot about strategies. I actually made up all the strategies. I told him to memorize everything. <laughs> I was pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty much like the strategy guy. I do the same thing for Armada. I send him like essays, like memorize all this, and <laughs> that's pretty much what we do. That's like trying to find a really good team. It's just fun to me, also. Yeah. I, my style is better for it. But I just don't like I don't like how campy it is. I mean, I'm willing to be like really campy, but for some reason I'm just I don't have the mean me to like. I don't want to time people out anymore. I don't know. It's just. People already hate me for it, but I mean, I don't care that much, but I, mean, I, I care a bit, and um, I don't know, it's just so boring, I don't, I don't want that to be a metagame, but it might be, <laughs> it's just, I mean, it might come down to like counting ledge grabs and just, just being lame, and I don't know, I don't like it, <laughs> I don't like where it's heading, I'm starting to like, I hope Smash 4 isn't like that, yeah. I mean, it just sucks, because like, originally it's like, okay, What's a what's a smart way to win? Okay. Um. Well, if I up air from the ledge, they can't hit me. Okay. Um. Well, there's a time limit, so I can fly under the stage. That kills a few seconds. Uh, okay. Ledge grab limit. Anti scrooging rule. Okay. Um. So what's next? Um. Okay. I'm good on I'm good on uh, Brinstar. I beat everyone. Oh, grant ban ban it. Okay. So that, that's that's three handicaps. Um. What else are you gonna do? Uh, okay. The ten minute timer. That was my fault. I told them to do it, but even still, that's like three four things. It, it, Almar should have a Pikmin limit. Ice Quam should only be able to Chinga be to 40. I mean, come on. This, they're just making it stupid. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, I don't think there's a way around it. It's just, I feel like that's how it has to be, like, in that game. It comes down to, do you really want to win really, 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 really badly? Then be as good as possible. Otherwise, you might lose. <laughs> that's how it feels recently. And I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I, I'm being hypocritical right now. I, I did that. I... I didn't enjoy it. Uh, I enjoyed winning. <laughs> I enjoyed showing people how good it was. I enjoyed um, perfect downer spacing and everything. It's, it's getting lame now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's just nature game. There's no way of avoiding it. That's why I like, I like everything else but singles lately. Yeah. I, I'm not even like, I'm going to Japan like a week and a half. I, I don't even feel like playing this game anymore, to be honest. Uh, like, I don't even want to play anymore. I'm just I'm sick of it. Control is not good enough. and. I just, I'm losing my passion. I don't like singles. I'm getting sick of everything. I just want to play Pokeballs and Smash Balls and Free For Alls and that shit was so fun. I do it with Vex. It's so much, so much more fun than the original game. Here's a game where you just, he picks Sonic and you try to kill yourself, right? He's like, all you have to do is hit me and you win. I was like, he does like dumb, he's got, I told him this dumb money match people, hustle them. All you have to do is hit me once and we win. So like, he starts an FD, he runs off, downer is off. I think he's still invincible by the time he dies, so he does that three times. And you have to counter pick him to like weird stages to somehow get lucky and win like pirate ship or something. Or he always bans Shadow Moses. We went these goofy games, and I don't know. It's just so much more fun. That's, that's interesting. I think Smash is so fun, but it, it's the, way, the way Brawl singles specifically is designed is just getting 
the nature of it, it's, I felt like it was, I felt like oh, years ago, it was unavoidably going to come down to it. I didn't think people were going to get good enough, because I still think in 2010, I still think it's by, I could destroy anyone right now if I was that good. That's just my opinion. I, I do truly believe. But I still feel like that now people are catching up and stuff, it, now that is what the metagame is coming toward. And I just don't like that. It's, just, it's like, make it, it makes me not want to play anymore. Uh, because, I mean, I could, I think I could do that, but I have to go into the mats with the intentions of being as lame as possible. I don't want to go into the mats with those intentions. I want to go into them and destroy them like I used to. It was easier when people weren't as good and when I was like perfect tech school and everything. But even still, what, what about next year? What about next Apex? Wait, is it going to be lamer? <laughs> I don't know. This is how I feel. Yeah. Oh, what do you think about like that? Just the, scares me. Like the, what am I gonna the, do? It was uh, um, Hbox and uh, Armada doing just, Young Link and. Jack I heard that was bad for. I, someone told me that that was really bad for the scene. Like, Hbox playing that lane and Armada playing that lane. But I mean, I mean, I can't say I really blame them. I mean, but I mean, they did damage to the community by doing that. I, I'm not. I'm not blaming them. For, I mean, they did what they had to. It just sucks that they did damage by uh, doing that. Yeah. yeah. It's, what had, to be, what had to be done. If he could use other characters, then maybe, uh, but he decides to just back air. As, as I said, I don't think he's nearly as good as me, but he's considered better than me because he's as you know, good as your best character. Same same reason like I was considered better than Ally, even though Ally is a lot better than I am. You only as good as your best character. Turning turn wise, yeah. pretty much. Do you like Armada? Is he cool yeah, he's, he's a cool guy. We talk a lot. Uh, you guys I taught him tons of peach tricks. I taught him tons of shit. Really? Yeah. I didn't know you played a lot of um, I taught him tons of shit before pound five. Both in teams and singles. I can't, I've been teaching him tons of shit. Like, for the past 16 months, I just teach him all shit. He, t he taught me a bit of stuff, too. It's usually me telling him stuff, but occasionally he'll tell me stuff, too. Do you guys like... Who's whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Say, no, I forget. I forget what I was going to say, anyway. Now, who's your um, your favorite person to team with? Is it Ar Armada? I have the best teamwork with... In Brawl, it was Ally and Trello. Well, it's because I told Trello tons of stuff and the new is broken. And Ally and me just have a lot of experience together. And, um, yeah, Armada's my, my best so far. Really? I you, never you, you I seen never Kazan, didn't you? Like, yeah. yeah. Did that uh, work at all? I know that Kazan has that reputation. He's like, he's, like, he's, he's like out of practice, but we still won. Yeah. Uh, we still won both times, although he was kind of like out of practice. Yeah. Like, whatever. Interesting. Um... Who's your favorite person to play as in teams, I guess? Fox, Sheik, Melee. Puff's my third best, actually. Uh, my Puff's actually really good in teams. <laughs> not 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 Mango good, but yeah. one step below Mango's Puff. Actually, maybe a lot. I, I don't think anyone's near his Puff. The rest is so stupid. It, it is so stupid. Um, what was the question again? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, um... Oh yeah, you, you were answering. It was like you, Mango and I don't, I'm sorry, um, Jigglypuff was one of your players. Or, or yeah. Okay. Okay. My favorite character, in, obviously, I always mean, in bro. Oh, um, my DD is good too. And Impulse, I did 720 damage against the Warrior team, six kills. And I was like out of practice. I don't know. I guess Brawl is just simple. I oh, oh, Brawl and DD and my playstyle. It's just simple. Backer grab. Just backer, backer grab. <laughs> Yeah, Fox Sheik. Depends the matchup. Like, I just use both. People used to say Sheik sucks in teams. I say the Sheik players suck in teams. That's what I think. I think she's good because I have everyone. And I can't be having everyone if she's bad. So she's obviously, she obviously, obviously isn't bad. So, I mean. It's all right. Um, the community itself, I mean. I mean, people with kind of perception of no. like, oh, you get a lot no. of money. No. I know what to make, like. Uh, New York Tourney, 100 bucks. Uh, and then there's entering expenses and travel fees and t and time. And if I got a minimum wage job without having to, well, just like if I went, worked, went to McDonald's, worked for eight hours, that'd be the same profit as a uh, attorney yeah. nowadays. And it's not good for money. And terribly, terribly losing my passion. Yeah. Again, um, I'm going to Japan. I'm mostly going for fun because. I'm, pro I'm quitting in September until like December. I'm quitting for like three and a half months. I'll probably never be as good as I used to be, being realistic. This is like, I'm, I'm glad I got that. <laughs> I was playing so good that turn. Yeah. Not as good as MLG though. Just before I got banned from Dallas, I was like in my prime. 
I remember playing Allied in one friendly. Just it was only happened one time ever. I three stocked him at thirty damage without giving him. It, 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 no, it's only one friendly. We usually go even. Oh, okay. We usually go even. And, and he beat me recently in friendlies. But just one time, I just like three stocked him at thirty damage. Just, I was I was beating Lee Martin. I was <laughs> tiring. I was just no one could beat me. I I, I was like I five out Dojo in friendlies. No one could beat me. Like even in friendlies, I was so sure. And I, it was just Rich Brown because it was like I didn't. I didn't know Almar then, but I've gotten way better. I, was, I played in a bunch of friendlies this week. I, I won most of them by a lot. And I just because all I played Almar a week. I played Asa from Hawaii. I played his Almar like past five days. That's all I've ever played against. So I got to learn a lot of stuff. Um, I got to experiment a lot. I, I still feel like I can experiment a lot more, but problems. I never had Almars to play against. It's like okay, so everything, all my experimenting happens in tourney. So it's like, well, that sucks because it's like I don't know if this is good. But this is what I do for other masters, so I'll try it here, and hopefully it's good. <laughs> um, now I know it, all these little small things. The problem is when I take breaks and stuff, those good habits of mine, I'll forget. So I'll lose a lot of good habits, and I, I don't. That's why I don't think I'll ever be as good again. Because when I take a break, I get a lot worse. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, I've heard that actually Japan is a lot different. That um, I, I respect them more. What, what, I'm, I'm going to see truly how they are um, soon. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm I'm expecting to get destroyed because I do I I do feel like I'm just a shell of my former self in like every way I do feel like I'm nothing but a shell a shadow of my former self. Yeah. Do you think but I still want to go there for the experience. I don't want to pass up that opportunity. Shoutouts to Toe for buying me a two thousand dollar plane ticket because <laughs> nice. he's a really nice guy. And if I win any money, if I win thousand, I'm giving it all to him. I don't care. I'm just giving it all. It's the least I can do. I don't even. That's good. I don't know. That was just <laughs> nice of him. Did you ever get to do like anything physical? I know Isaiah went and um, like loved hiking. That's his big I used thing. to do like diamond push ups in seventh grade where I just do fifty in a day, like in some, back in seventh grade. I saw I, I was, I was, I was obsessed. Like, yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> no but, um I haven't done done that for like six years or something. Like yeah. I, I don't even know why I still have decent muscles. I mean I, I, I'm weak as hell though. Uh, good, I, good genes. No, I, I know. Not even. I just. It's deceiving. I'm 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 weak. <laughs> and my back always hurts. My back always hurts. Like I have bad posture. It's bad habits. But I didn't know it was so bad. Like so if someone told me that it was gonna be like this six years from now in the future, if you don't change this habit, it's gonna be bad. Maybe I. I just get lazy. I just lose motivation. I don't know. It's like when I wanted something, I just worked really hard and I got receipt and I reached my goal within like a year and. Like I super reached the goal. Like I doubled my skill, doubled my muscles. Like just whatever the goal was, I just got to it really fast. From, from whatever starting point to, you know, when I was done, yeah. I reached it really fast. And I think it's purely based off motivation. And I feel like motivation is what really like drives me in like my life. Yeah. I, I don't know what I'm doing like after Smash. I, I just don't know. Yeah. I guess I kind of want to make games like 2D platformers were the best. I think I'm like Mario 3, Super Metroid. Oh. Do you play like the indie games like Meat Boy or whatever it is? Yeah, I played play a bit of that. I, I like Mega Man games. Mega Man's my favorite. Yeah, I, I like Mega Man a lot. Um, what would be your perfect life? Like if you could describe it. Okay, um... I would want Jesse to make like... Just send me like a level development kit or some shit or just make I'll make a really good engine for like his pro type of his game I just want to make levels for it all like all, all the time just like just do this do this do this and that I don't know I just I can see myself having fun with that and if I can get like paid for it too I, I'd be like the double good I can just do this forever <laughs> I don't know if it'll happen that, that'd be fun do you think you'd be happy like just yeah, that'd be, I'd, I'd be happy doing that it'd be fun I'd, I'd like to create stuff I just want to play games, make games. That's good for me. I like video game hacks too.